Hello everyone. Welcome to Hear Listen Speak. Hereditary hearing loss is one of the most common congenital hearing loss. Over 130 genes has been identified as causing deafness at birth. So there is a good news for those with congenital hearing loss. In US, a 11-year-old boy who underwent gene therapy noticed significant improvement in his hearing. He was a child who was born with profound hearing loss that is more than 90% hearing loss in both his ears due to their financial constraints the parents could not give him any rehabilitation using hearing aids or cochlear implants at the age of 11 a clinic in US identified him to be having autoferlin gene mutation autoferlin is a gene which can mutation of that gene can cause the protein layer in the hearing cells getting affected or it destroys the protein layer inside the hearing cells now when this protein layer gets destroyed the sound transmission from the hearing cells to the brain gets affected and those children are born with profound hearing loss one good thing about this autoferlin gene mutation is these hearing cells can survive for a longer duration of time So this boy was identified as the right candidate to try gene therapy especially the autoferlin gene mutation gene therapy Gene therapy consists of harmless virus carrying these autoferlin genes in two drops of liquid and these are injected to the inner ear or cochlea So right after the injection within few days he started hearing traffic noises and after 2 months when they did his hearing test which is bera testings and pyotron audiogram they observed his hearing thresholds have improved significantly across all the frequencies and few frequencies it has even gone back to normal now at present these trials are limited to older children and fda approval should be getting it for younger children this definitely is a hope for those children having congenital hearing loss There are around 2 lakh people around the world having autoferlin gene mutation. Now, one point to be considered is right now the gene therapy has considered only autoferlin gene mutation and in the future definitely it should be expanding to the other genetic mutations too. This is definitely a hope for us. Let's hope many more children who are born with profound hearing loss will be brought back to the world of hearing. 